hello, hello. America. Hello. Uh, this here is puto. This is puto. I can say that word, puto. This is food from Filipino. It's from Philip the Philip the Philippines. And with me is fellow Filipino American DJ LG. I'm not actually not. Filipino though. Um, all right, I've never had puto. You have. Uh, let me take it out. Show the people. It looks pretty plain. Yeah, it doesn't have not anything much to on it. it. <laughs> it's just, I know. It's just kind of. Uh, it's like a little. Fluffy, looks like a cup. Well, it's like a little biscuit or something, but it's desserty, huh? Yeah. Smells good. Okay, so what's in this? What is it made of? Vanilla, uh, eggs, cockroaches? What is it? Uh, yeah. Okay. All the above. What, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, we've got this at this little bitty ass Filipino store. Uh, that yeah, I bet health. No, it was it was pretty clean on the in the front, but you know, <laughs> if, I, if I make a health code joke, you might take that the wrong yeah, way yeah, though. Yeah. So I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna try it. Mm-hmm. Eating puto. Yeah. I'm digging myself. Go right ahead. All right. This is kind of like a, um, it's like a muffin, just nothing on it. It's just a, it's a muffin with sugar in it. It's just, <laughs> yeah. It's like dough and Pretty sugar. Pretty much. That's all it is. It's, uh, I'm sure it's you can sweet. Di- can you dip your puto in chocolate? I don't see why not. Or you can probably dip your puto in strawberry, too. Some this people just, might like this that. This is just old-fashioned plain puto. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, it's like vanilla puto. <laughs> this is white boy puto. <laughs> vanilla but puto. It's all like this. I don't, I don't think I've ever Dude. seen it with anything on top of it. Like okay, chocolate. Well, here's the thing: in the Philippines, they have a lat. They have a. It's like Latino Asian tinge. You know. Yeah. You know your history. You know your Filipino history. Right. Not really. Okay. Well, Spain conquered them and ruined their ass and destroyed oh. them and got, had sex with all their women and that's like most of the Western world violated the hell out of them. And the Americans went in there and you know kind of drove out the Spaniards and so okay. that's why you get like all right. the last name Bonilla. Wow. You know, I see. You know, is that why they served menudo at the Filipino store? They had menudo with, with the Filipino store. They actually had menudo. My, my question where I'm going with this is that. You know, the, the word puto can be taken derogatorily. Yeah. So why did they call this puto? Are they, are they, were they doing a bit when they decided to call this puto? I'm dropping crumbs on your table. That's all right. Oh, this little bitty generic plain bread. Eh, what a little, you know, boop. What a little <laughs> uto with a P. Oh, cool, we knew, just named it. Let's call it puto. I are we sure I this no I'm, I'm saying the word, I'm not used to saying that word and feeling, I, I feel like I'm being offensive, you know? But apparently it's not, because I mean, puto, it said puto right there on the guy's menu. Maybe it was like from the people who made the, the, the puto, they were being derogatory towards them. <laughs> <laughs> so they decided to name it that. In, hey, in, well, in, in Mexican it. culture, they decided to use that word. Oh, maybe some Mexican guy just yeah, started yeah. to go on vacation. <laughs> what are those things? Oh, it had that little puto with a P, maybe one of those. <laughs> maybe they, maybe they, no, they saw it was already called that. Oh. And they were like, oh, well. Oh, maybe they stole the Filipino word. Yeah, oh. the other way around. Maybe yeah, the yeah. Filipino word came before the derogatory exactly. term. Exactly. Oh, dude, you know what? You're on to something. Now, does that word exist in Spain? That's my next question. Hmm. Because I could see where, like, some, some a-hole Spaniard went to the Philippines, you know, and he thought he was better than everybody. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, what are these, 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 what are these eating? And then... Well, they call the little Asian guy Nuto with a P, and just decide, and these are a little tiny and kind of generic and you know kind of soft and fluffy. So boom, Nuto with a P. There you go. You know, or maybe they, like you said, maybe they already named it Uto. I can't even say it. I'm so I feel like I'm cussing. <laughs> they already right, named man. it Uto, and the Mexicans just stole it as their own. Yeah. Or maybe like the the guy baking it was rude or something. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So from now on, you just you know, anybody like, in Mexico who is rude and yep. acts like a little pansy gets called a Uto with a P. There you go. There you go. I think we just had, this is a history lesson. I think we, I, I'm pretty sure, I don't, there's no need to research that. Just take that as fact. That's exactly what happened. All right, I think it was pretty good. And I don't feel like I ate a bunch of sweets either because it's, it's kind of plain. It's sweet, tastes good, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm filled and satisfied and didn't have to have a bunch of damn chocolate and, you know, 18, 18 grams of chocolate and strawberry and all kinds of stuff. I'm glad you liked it. Puto.